This is how we make the moonshine. Talk about a long damn trip. Traveling from the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia to Sao Paulo, Brazil to evade the law, outlaw shiner Josh is on a mission to create a backwoods coffee moonshine to cash in on a booming market for caffeinated spirits. We made it out of the United States. My buddy Chris got me out of town. Henry told me that the law was looking for me even more, so me staying in the woods at home was pointless. He's got a guy down here named Paulo that I'm supposed to be meeting. He's supposed to have some motorcycles lined up. And we're supposed to go from coffee farm to coffee farm. I'm here in Brazil because me and my friend Chris are developing a coffee-infused moonshine that's going to take the world by storm. There's a huge market out there for coffee-infused liquor. I'm going to make the backwoods version of that. In my neck of the woods, the number one illegal seller is coffee moonshine. I think it's important for a moonshiner to be able to adapt. If there's a market for a moonshiner to get in to make some money, hell, I'm down. I'm looking for Apollo. He's supposed to be around here somewhere. Brazil's the best country for my mission because they've got the best coffee in the world. There he is right there. That's Apollo. Once I find the right bean, then we're going to start developing the coffee-infused moonshine. What's up, man? I finally made it, bro. Aha! What's up, man? Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you, oh, too, you sir. Oh, you have your gear with you. Oh, huh? yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Want to see the bikes I got for yeah, us? Right. Yeah. Come on. Hell, yeah. Go. What we got here, man? Yeah. Two it's 900. Trump. Trump. Yeah. So we're going to be sometimes on a highway and uh, some dirt roads Sweet, soon. sweet. And places to camp. Cool, man. Have you been to Brazil? No, sir. No? This, this is the first time? First time I've ever been over the pond, you know? That's nice, yeah. huh? We're going to have some coffee now. And okay. uh, I'm going to show you a map of the area. And we're going to plot our, our trip around. OK. You're looking for coffee. We got coffee here. My first impression <laughs> yeah. of Apollo, super awesome. He's laid back and he's got some really damn badass motorcycles. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Apollo's wanting to go get a cup of coffee and look at the map and go over our plan. So now it's time for us to get on the box and roll. You see, the environment is pretty different than Estrema. Yeah, the trees are smaller. Yeah, and it's very dry. And all you see around is coffee farm. This is crazy. There's coffee everywhere. Yeah, coffee here, coffee there, coffee there. This just starting again, the coffee production here. You see there are baby trees, but they're not. They were cut to let it grow again. And we're not going to see any rain for days here, maybe for a month. And the road here is pretty hard, isn't it? Hell yeah, it's hard. It's going to get harder. I think Paulo's trying to scare me or something, because he keeps talking about how it's just going to get tougher and tougher. Hell, I like it, bro. <laughs> We're pretty close now. But what he don't know about me is the tougher the terrain is, the more I'm going to like it. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. This is Hi, Paola. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. 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 Thank you, man. Uh, How are this you? This is Ramses. Uh, what's up, man? Nice, nice, to, nice meet to meet you, sir. Yeah. If you want to find the best coffee, you have to know Fabiola. This is the real coffee farm. This is the real thing, man. Well, I'm glad to be here. She's the fifth generation of coffee planters, <laughs> and I knew that she was the person to me. Sejam bem-vindos. Yeah. Oh, she's, uh, saying, she's saying welcome. Thank you for having us. Eu quero que vocês vão lá conhecer a plantação que fica indo Nesse caminho. We go uh, down the road and up the hills there, and Leandro, her employee, is going to teach us how to pick, and he's going to show everything around for us. Can we go now? Bora. Let's okay. go, man. Thank you, guys. Bye. Nice to meet y'all. This is coffee. This is a yellow species. So they're all just loaded like that. Yeah. How, does they, how do the branches not break? And that's nature. You know what is amazing to me? Uh -huh. is how much it changes from, from right here yeah, the beans, right? Yeah, like it's all They're very white, and then you dry them and you roast them. Amazing they get, how the they flavor comes out of them yeah. after that. They don't have, mm -hmm. you can't even tell the difference. Let no, me. Not at all. Coffee is a major thing in Minas Gerais. Hola, tudo bom? Tudo Hey man. Tudo bom? How you doing, sir? His name is Leandro. Leandro. Let's, Let's get some equipment here. We have very specialized producers, little farms with families that produce their own coffee for generations. And this is where tradition becomes perfection. We put the sifter uh, under the branch we're going to pick. 
And if we're going to pick only the cherries, we choose one by one. OK. OK, you can do that. Yeah, find the very red ones. It's the darkest red ones. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to pick all of them, you just go like this. Just strip it. Yeah. These people are living on the farm. They're growing coffee. They're harvesting coffee. That's a lot like an old school moonshine operations run. Can you imagine doing that all day long? Oh, yeah. These workers, they do their job, and they take a lot of pride in what they do. So, man, how you doing, bro? Yeah. Hell, yeah. I think it's beautiful. Ha-ha. So they fall to the front. They throw right? it to the front and jerk yeah. it back. Leandro really makes it easy to separate the leaves from the coffee beans. He's got this sifter, and Leandro just does like this, and the leaves just go away just as pretty as you please. So I need to go this way? Yes. Okay. Yes. Like that? Yes. <laughs> That's hard. I mean, you do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a little bit of practice to learn how to do that. Leandro's definitely a professional. Hell yeah. So you handpicked coffee, man. <laughs> Came a long way to do it, too. I told you I was going to bring you to the right place. This is it? awesome, man. Yeah. The beans from this region in Brazil are known for having a slightly acidic, really full, smooth-bodied flavor profile. And that's exactly what I'm looking for to make the best tasting moonshine. Tell him I said no bean left behind. No bean left behind. These beans are known to be some of the best beans in the world. I could make a recipe that's going to take the backwoods by storm. Smell, it means that the quality is good. She wants these coffee beans in this giant pile spread out to where they're like one or two, three beans tall, so the sun can hit them all and dry them all out. You will only know if it's really good when you drink the coffee, but this is a sign of good quality. So when they come here, the beans, they are still very Green. wet. Yeah. And if you keep them like that, they ferment. So you want to dry them until this 11% of humidity, then they are ready. And you do this like combing. I understand you now. See? Are these already roasted? What makes them black? The skin becomes dark when it starts to dry here. So the humidity is going down. As it happens, it gets darker. There's several steps into drying these beans, but after they're dried in the sun, it's time to be roasted. OK, now we're going to see how they roast it, huh? How do you control whether it's a light roast, a medium roast, or a dark roast? Looking at the color and smelling it. So she she's looking at the time, but not the controls. Yeah, Golly, look at that. That's amazing. By roasting the beans, it brings out a lot of flavors. It also locks a lot of flavors in. The amount of heat and the length of time that you roast a coffee bean drastically changes the flavor profile of the coffee. Go. Yes, Thank you, Fabiola. Thank you so much. That's amazing. That's amazing. Huh? Fabiola brought us out a bag of her best coffee. I can't wait to try it. I'm hoping that this is the right bean for my coffee-infused moonshine. But right now, we're worn out, and it's time for us to go find a camping spot. Bye. Boa viagem. Yeah, Vai nice to meet you. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. Now we rest. I'm excited to try Fabiola's coffee tomorrow morning because I've came a long way to come down here to find the perfect coffee bean. When I taste it, I'll know immediately if it's the right bean to mix with alcohol for the coffee moonshine that I'm developing with my friend Chris. What an epic day, though. Mm-hmm. Man.